Hey everyone, this is Freddie Sahar over at Osiris. We're really excited to start this video automation series that we're doing here, which is just an overview of automations and integrations and how they help scale our real estate business. Today, we're specifically going to talk about our YLOPO Priority Alert Notification Hub. And that's really what it was at first, right? We built this system to help facilitate the many notifications that we're getting from Y Priority Alerts. But it's since then iterated to just become a notification hub for all the different types of notifications that you'll be receiving. You know, we get notifications from call action, from HomeBot, from Y Priority Alerts, from emails, from text messages, from Zillow, and they all go into their respective platforms. None of them are all sinking into one area. And the ones that do, like the Y Priority Alerts into FUB, we just get a notification that says Y Priority Alert, but we have no idea what that notification actually is. And, you know, so say say we get that Y Priority Alert. I believe we click through five different screens in Y Lobo to then get to the Raya text thread. And it's just someone telling Raya to stop or unsubscribe or, or maybe a profanity that we've all seen in response to Raya sometimes. And you do that three or four times, you use that three or four minutes to go ahead and try and follow up with this lead. And then you just get shut down by an unsubscribe or a stop. The next time you get a priority alert and maybe you're in a meeting or you have a busy day, it goes to the wayside and you just forget about it. And that's the time. It's usually the showing request or a good response to Raya, someone trying to engage to have a conversation. And we let that one slip through the cranks. So that's what really started this priority alert system was to help give more information. So rather than just why priority alert, we'll give you the whole last text thread from Raya and the agent or the client, excuse me, and a lot of different information based off of the type of priority alert. And now we also port in HomeBot client event notifications. Someone reads your digest, engages with the cash out calculator, the investment property tool, and now call action responses. Someone responds to a call action, or maybe you're using Hatch and some texting outbound drip campaign that do get a lot of responses. We now port those call action responses into Slack. And why Slack is great is we can have multiple agents in each channel. We can show where from within your system, whether it's the bank, the pond, the pond archive, or in an agent's bucket, that notification came from. We can now also, for team leaders, spit out reports that say, hey, we had 40 notifications hit Slack today. Only 35 were followed up with. So you can start to see some holes and some gaps within your business. Slack also gives us some functionality, such as timers in the back end. So say you get a wide priority alert for a showing request and no one follows up with it. We can say within 10 minutes, if no one logs an interaction with this client in follow-up boss, to trigger a call action campaign or an action plan from FUB to get in front of them, to just give them some content, some material, let them know you'll be right with them. So, so enough talking, let's show you what this Slack system actually looks like. I'm gonna share my screen here and pull up a couple of the different priority alerts that we go through. All right, so I've got, let me minus my Zoom here. So I've got first here a YLOPO seller experience priority alert. So you can see here, this is a priority alert that came from my pond. Here's a couple of different channels, premium for new leads, bank, which is a little bit more of a hot pond. And I've got my team communication channel in here. And, and this is where I celebrate. I Every time someone on my team sets an appointment, we sent a GIF out so they get excited and, and you know we can have some friendly rivalry here. But you can see here, look, this was a, engaged with seller experience notification. The original source was a My Plus lead. So you can know if this is a realtor.com, a Zillow lead, or if it's just an old Facebook lead re-engaging. And you can see alert type, engaged with your seller experience. You can view them in stars. You can view them right here and click this button and view them in follow up boss. Or working on this, you can go ahead and place a call now to them and give them a direct call to outbound dial you and outbound dial the lead. So this is just one type and how it looks in Slack. And here we open up a Raya response. This is probably the most popular use case and where I found the most value originally. And again, it's just iterated upon itself. But you can see here, it was in the pond, it was a stage pond, but it was specifically in my bank, which is a little bit more of a hotter pond. So I want to prioritize this over other notifications. I get the original lead source, the contact's name, the last text that Raya sent, and their response. And look, this is saying, hey, how's business? This is a great one for me to either click this button, carry over the conversation as Raya, or to pull them up and follow up and introduce myself as their realtor and their expert to explain to them how the market's going and how business has been. And if it's the time for them to buy or sell, whatever the follow-up this lead needs. Now, again, 
if this this ping slack at 428, I can say and set rules and, and we do this for you that say, hey, if I don't get a response by 438, I want an outbound text going saying, we'll let someone know, we'll let that cleat need know, we'll be right with you. We have a representative, they'll be with you in just a couple of minutes, we're just a little inundated. Whatever the marketing response that you want there is, there's a lot of functionality. Now let's dive in. Here is a Y priority alert, just return to view listing. So here you can see this lead return to view listing after 21 days. We have some buttons built in here. We can click to send them similar homes. You can view them in stars if you want to look at their search, or you can view them in follow-up boss to follow up with them directly. And this is one of my favorites now that we're linking in HomeBot. And I'm sure everybody, if you're at the YLOPO conference, saw how many people are utilizing HomeBot through YLOPO. This is a great one as a lot of you are running a team-wide account. All those notifications are going to just one email inbox. This way we can port them into Slack so everybody can see the different notifications for their leads. And if you own the lead, rather than it going to this bank or pawn channel, it'll direct message you this priority alert. Again, that's for all the different types of alerts. So you can see realtor.com lead, Daniel came back and viewed your HomeBot Digest report and is looking at your unique data. I wanna get in front of this person. Maybe you don't wanna call this person right away though, or you don't wanna text them. Maybe what you just want is when this alert hits, you trigger a special call action campaign or an outbound action plan that gives them content related to them engaging with HomeBot. Maybe they were a past client and we can start to get really granular with the type of follow-up from here. And the last one is we can also port your new leads in here. So oftentimes we're out in the field and maybe we just get an email with a lead or we just get a call with a lead or even a text, hey, claim this lead. With Slack, we can port a lot more information in. The home details, the price, the bed and bath. This looks like they came in with not too much information, but we can get YLOPO platform, YLOPO AdWords. It was four to six months to buy, sell before buy, no, pre-approved. Yes, we can get all this information into Slack so your agents, when they're out in the field, they can go ahead and respond to this priority alert quite easily. This is a little bit about our priority alert system. I hope that this was useful. As always, if you have any questions or you guys would like to dive a little bit deeper and have a free system audit, you can click the link below to register with me on my Calendly link. I'm looking forward to talking to you all soon.